Have you ever lifted your child's lip and observed this, this or worse this? Well, if it's reassurance enough, let me tell you that you're not alone. Early childhood caries, also formally referred to as baby bottle tooth decay, remains a significant public health problem to date. It can be defined as the presence of one or more decayed uh, teeth missing due to decay or filled tooth surfaces in any primary tooth in a preschool age child. So what causes early childhood caries? Early childhood caries in layman terms uh, develops if food and drinks containing sugar like milk and juice are left in your child's mouth for many hours. Oral bacteria as we all know love sugar and feed on it to produce acids that destroy your child's teeth over time. This as well as other factors involved such as the frequency and contents of the feedings, oral hygiene, um, any medicines that your child might take as well as other dental medical conditions as well as family history determines your child's caries risk. How do these lesions present? Initially there's a white demineralized uh, area along the gum line of the affected tooth or teeth. Then these white lesions turn into cavities around the neck of the teeth in a ring-like fashion and finally the entire crowns are destroyed leaving behind brown black root stumps. Is there any way that this condition can be prevented? Of course, one of the easiest ways to prevent early childhood caries from developing is by not giving your child a bottle containing sugary drinks like milk, juice, formula at night. But if your child must absolutely have a bottle while sleeping, try to dilute the milk or juice with water over a few weeks until your child is only drinking water. Give your child a bottle only during meal times. Do not allow your child to walk around with it and avoid constant at will breastfeeding. Number two, help your child to adopt a balanced uh, lifestyle limiting the intake of starchy, sugary snacks and drinks. Number three, clean your child's gums with a soft toothbrush or clean cloth and water at birth and as soon as the first tooth erupts you can use a soft toothbrush twice a day. Use a smear of toothpaste if your child is under two years of age and a pea size amount if your child is between two to five years of age. Number four, avoid dipping pacifiers and sweetened liquids. Number five, encourage your child to drink from a cup as soon as possible, preferably by, um, you know, once they're one year of age. This is because the liquid is less likely to pool around the teeth when your child drinks from a cup. And finally, make your child visit a dentist by their first birthday for an early evaluation. The dentist will then determine your child's caries risk and tell you ways on how you can simply prevent this condition from occurring. However, if you feel like your child's teeth is at any one of the three stages of this condition, should you be visiting a dentist? Of course, for the incipient or early lesions, your dentist might suggest simple surveillance, uh, the use of pits and fissure sealants, or the application of anti-cariogenic agents such as fluoride to arrest the progression of the lesions that are already there and prevent the formation of new ones. For the cavitated lesions, depending on the extent of the decay, the dentist might recommend fillings, pulp therapies or extractions. Remember that your child's teeth are important for speaking and chewing, any problems with which can have an impact on your child's growth, development and nutrition. If early childhood caries causes your child to lose their teeth too early, their permanent teeth may come out crooked or crowded. Trust me, by following our simple suggestions today, you can help your child adopt a lifetime of good dental habits. Thank you.